The Dans continued their hot start to the second half on Tuesday with a 4-2 victory against the Lafayette Aviators. Coming off of a season best performance in his last start, Parker Carlson picked up right where he left off. The righty started the game with a rare four strikeout inning, with one reaching on a wild pitch. Both starters pitched strong outings, with Lafayette starter Nick Yeager holding the Dan's hitless end of the fifth, and Carlson finishing his day with five scoreless frames. We wanted to keep him on a pitch count, no more than 80. Um, that was the plan going in, and uh, you know we, we accomplished that. And uh, you know, like I said, he, he's a bulldog, and uh, you know I see he's got a bright future at Auburn. And uh, like I said we, we stuck to the plan, and then you know with Kevin we wanted to extend out a little bit more too, get some length, and then turn over to Landon, and we were, like I said fortunate enough to get the win tonight. Yeah, a little slow. I mean, their pitcher was good, and I mean, we got to tip our cap, but like I said, we've talked about before, once we get in people's bullpens, uh, we think we can do some damage, and we were fortunate enough tonight to do enough damage. The Dans would strike first in the sixth with a two-out single from Chase Vincent, scoring Drake DiGiorno. The two out hits, you know, usually win ball games, and, uh, you know, he made a great play actually in the ninth inning, too, on the bunt. Um, he's very athletic at first, and, uh, you know, like I said, he's having a good summer for us, and I'm glad he's back with us. The lead was extended in the seventh on RBI singles from Colin All and Drake DiGiorno, along with a sack fly from Trey Higgins. The lead was then turned over to Kevin Fee, who pitched his longest outing of the year in relief, going three innings before passing the torch to Landon Tompkins. I mean, that's more, most we've extended him in the pitches, but uh, you know, it's one of those things, like I said, we got to build him up too, and there may be times he has to go three or four innings for us. Uh, you know, you know, one time through the order, which could be three innings or so. But uh, I thought he pitched well, and uh, any time he gave us the opportunity to still win the ball game, and then obviously the turnover landed. Tompkins closed the game out in the ninth for his fourth save of the year. The win extended the Dan's win streak to eight games, giving them a perfect 7-0 record in the second half. You know, anytime you come out with the win, we'll take the win and uh, we'll get better tomorrow. And, you know, we're in for a dog fight with Chillicothe. That, like I told our guys, they're the best in the East. We're the best in the West, so uh, it'll be fun tomorrow night. Next up for the Dans is the 25-11 and 11 Chillicothe Paints, holder of the second best record in the Prospect League behind Danville. The Dans return home on Friday to host the Clinton Lumber Kings to kick off a three-game homestand. This was another Dans recap. I'm Alex Hines.